Uh, it's widely accepted and scientifically supported that if you're a lady, you can expect to live longer um, than if you're a man. <laughs> How about if you're just... Oh, no, that's right. Um, all right, nanotech scientist Michelle Dickinson knows why, because she's read the research and because she just knows and joins me now. Michelle, good morning. Good morning, Paul. I read a thing ages and ages ago that um, hypothesised that the reason that women live longer than men, and it's around the world, isn't it? It's not yeah. just in... Uh, the reason that, that that is the case is that men will work hard, 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 and then stop and yeah. almost shut down, which this survey was suggesting um, was why women so, which is why men so often had very short periods of time in retirement. Yeah, so it's one of the theories. If you look at you know people over the age of one hundred, for example, they show that in Japan there's a region of Japan where there are lots of people who live over a hundred, and they call it ikigai, which is the Japanese for your reason to get up in life, so your purpose in life. And if that's very strong, because you have you know family support that you're giving, you're looking after grandchildren, then you live for longer because you have a purpose in life. Whereas those who retire and then don't do very much tend to drop off because um, mm. they don't mm. have that. But it's a very small reason. This study that came out of P sorry, PNAS said that um, it was to do with the fact that people smoke and also heart disease in men. So for men, the big one, because you've, you've put it down basically to three reasons why men have shorter yeah. life expectancy than women. Number one, heart disease. Yeah, huge. And it's to do with um, diet, basically. So back in the 1870s, men and women lived for the same amount of time. There wasn't this discrepancy. Which, to be fair, wasn't long. Which wasn't long. And so since the age of antibiotics and actually, you know, people living longer, then men really started to drop off for some reason. And that was to do with heart disease and smoking. Men smoke more. Men tend to eat more fatty, high cholesterol foods, have higher LDL cholesterol, and they tend to be apple-shaped rather than pear-shaped. I mean, and there's a lot in fat. that, isn't that? It's mm. not just how much fat you've got, it's no. where you've got the fat, and men yeah. have it in the stomach. Yeah, so if you carry your fat on your stomach, it tends to go around your organs more than if you're a woman you carry it on your hips, which puts you at higher risk of heart disease. That also is the is the bigger killer. So actually only 30% of your death prediction is due to genetics. 70% is how you live your life. So right. you can control. Okay, so the number one reason that men uh, live uh, uh, fewer years than women is heart disease. Number two, going to the doctor. Yeah, so women go to the doctor 33% more than men, meaning that if you mm. do have something that might kill you, you're likely to catch it earlier, meaning you can treat it, meaning you have a higher success rate. Men go to the doctors. This is a really big problem, especially with things like prostate and, yeah, cancers. Women just go just to get checked up. They right. just think, oh, that's a bit iffy. That's yeah. changed. I'll go and have a look at it. Definitely. Men think, oh, that's changed. Probably change back again. <laughs> no, they do. That's what I always think. You know, when that great big lump grew up, <laughs> I thought that'll go away. And it did. 28% um, of men don't have a regular physician. Do you have a regular physician, Jim? Yeah, oh, yeah, well, I do. You should have to go. Um, well, we go to a big clinic, and there's lots of people there. But I generally go to the same doctor, same yes. clinic, yeah. same, same rough doctor within the clinic. You roughly go yeah. to the same address. Yeah. Um, all right, so you're not in the twenty eight percent. I, I must admit, I, I don't go to the doctor enough. I don't think. But how no. would I know? <laughs> Um, all right, and reason number three, and this is interesting because it plays into that whole, you know, you, you just retire and that's mm. it, um, having a social network. Massive. So stress is a huge um, indicator on, on survival rate and women talk more and have a bigger social network. So if you've got a problem, you, you talk it out, you're usually caretaking, you have a bigger social network. Men tend to be more solitary in the older age and so they hold some of that stress, that life stress. They don't talk about their problems. So, yeah, chat more, get more friends, do more stuff. Mm, it's easier for women to do that than men, and I don't know why. Men just don't want to sit around and talk about lumps and things like that, do they? And blood from the eyes. Oh, I was bleeding from the eyes the other day. Oh, were you? Do you want another beer? <laughs> it's how it would go, wouldn't it? Whereas a woman said, oh, I was bleeding from the eyes. Oh, and I was bleeding from the eyes the other week, and I went in and had a chat with Don. Dr. Don. Um, it, brilliant. Michelle, thank you very much. So now we know why, and we also yeah. sort of know how we can sort that out. Number yeah. one is sorted out by eating better. Number two is sorted out by going to the living. doctor. So mm. go to the doctor, eat better, exercise a little bit more. It doesn't have to be lots, just light exercise. Be happier, get I'm more friends. I'm shackered with number three, finding more friends. When, <laughs> how am I going to learn how to do that now? Um, Michelle, thank you very much for joining us. Michelle Dickinson.